Back in BTD Battles 1, Heli Farm and Ice is one of the best loadouts back in the in the game though. You can easily defend the all-out ZMG rushes with, by using all the Apache Dark Strips, Ice Shards, and others. But how good is Heli Farm and Ice inside of BTD Battles 2? We're gonna have to find out and see because I never used the strategy in Battles 2. And this might be tricky though because I know we have Ice, we have the Heli. And it's gonna be very, very tricky though in this game. So we have to try our best just to, um, just to win the game, alright? But anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and also smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Let's see if we can hit the video of 9 likes for today. All the support, all the good stuff, and we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers, and yeah. Anyway, let's just get right into the video. Alright guys, so we got in the wall, and we're playing against this guy named Legend 246 and apparently this guy, he's probably not as good, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, for that being said, we're gonna start by going for the, for the heli pilot right about here. If I rather place on a heli, like, somewhere, I think I'm gonna be placing the heli, like, right close here, I think, but... Hopefully that's okay because I'm not too sure if this guy might be dead so, so early though because right now we are in casual mode and basically, um, I don't know how this guy's good but this guy's probably not as good though because if you guys could tell he has the yellow stadium badges and I don't think this guy's not going to be as good. Okay. Uh, yep. We're playing as a very, very bot player so I might able to, um, I might have to make a cut here so let's see if this guy, um, rather lose early because i don't know why is this guy is not good at the game like oh my goodness bro two very boring minutes later all right so let's just, just kill this guy because i don't want to i don't want to go against this guy that has some worse badges i think he is dead though uh yep he's dead gg all right i'll catch you guys when we get to the next game hopefully we get some good players though i don't want to play against the same yellow stadium players uh by the way Alright, so this time we got Power Dino 2452. So for that being said, we're going to start by going for the Heli Pilot. And then after that, we're going to go for the farm. Because apparently, we're just going to try to see how good is the Heli Farm and Ice strategy in back in BT Battles 1 to BT Battles 2. Because if you guys did not remember back in Battles 1, Heli Farm and Ice is one of the best strategies inside the game though. Um, basically, you can easily defend some sort of amount of rushes though by going for the razor rotors, get ice shards, etc. There's like a lot of defense that you want to try to get during the mid game rounds for the for the defense. Um, but yeah, so good thing this guy is not as good though. And also, I found the same person once again though, so I don't want to play against him, uh, him again because apparently I don't want to play him again. So I decided to DC against him. So I just don't want to play the same person that is very very bad though. So that's why I prefer this guy that he's pr that he's pretty good though. So we're gonna see if this guy will go epic legging with me. If he doesn't, that's okay. I know we're just gonna try our best just to test out the strategy because I know I never use heli farm and ice strategy in battle super four, but this might be my first time using the strategy because the strategy is definitely pretty decent. So I'm not too sure if I'm right though, but we're gonna see how good this is gonna be in this game. All right. Um, also, I gotta watch out for the... I need to go for another heli pilot, because I don't think another heli might not do anything. Um, yeah, I think it's definitely struggling a little bit, though, against some group blues or something. So, I am actually not going to go for an S farm yet. I might go for another heli instead, because I know another heli might help out with it. So, I'm gonna go for another heli, you guys. So, let's go ahead and pull on another heli. Perfection, let's go. And then once again, though, I think we're both going to be using a... I think this guy's going bomb, maybe bomb farm and sub, or bomb village or something else. I'm not sure. Uh, but basically, he's going to go for the bomb shooter. So I think my guess is going to be village or or ice tower or super monkey. I don't know. Because I never see people go super monkey, bomb, and village in, um, in the actual games before, though. But the only way they use it is in speed with fire. Or not speed with fire. Uh, player with fire, I meant to say. Uh, speed with fire is like from battles one but still it's not available in battles two but don't agree with that man but i'm just i'm just don't know why i kept saying that all right so for that being said we're gonna go ahead and go for the we're probably gonna go for the nest farm very very soon and also i definitely need to go ahead and go for this upgrade up to uh up to the razor rotors because i definitely need to go for the razor rotors so we can make sure that we don't end up losing here and also remember the thing i need to do is i need to place on the sand tie so once we get the sand tie up then we should be Gucci with it. So I definitely need to pull out the Santai very, very soon because I know the Fed Santai is very, very expensive and everything's very, very expensive indeed, though. Um, also, let's go ahead and sell you. Go for the upgrade. Perfect. Let's go for that upgrade at least. So I hope we should be good with it, though. Um, also, I might go ahead and 
Uh, I might go ahead and place down the Santi Churchill, which is going to be the one I'm going to be placing down here. There we go with that. Um, and yeah, I think the Razor Warriors is going to be doing an actually good job. So I'm not too sure if the Razor Warriors will do that. Um, so I think we're just going to be good with it with the Razor Rotors though. So I think we are going to be good with it. And also, by the way too guys, I know this is randomly, but I have not uploaded a video for at least 6 days or so. Because of that, I've been extremely busy with my family, I was doing something, and also, I had a lot of stuff going on around this week, and also the next couple of months ago, or next couple of weeks or something. But basically, I had a lot of stuff going on, and I have a lot of focus to, to do some studying, everything I need to focus on, it's because of that, I haven't been posting for a lot on my channel. So, I am not too sure if I'll be back uploading videos until I have some time here because I know I have a lot of studying to do because I need to focus on my stuff. So, I do apologize that I haven't been posting videos for a long time. I think that was like almost one week. Yeah, that was almost one week ago. So, I apologize that I haven't been posting a lot on my channel. But, I'm going to try my best to come back on YouTube because every single time I stop uploading videos like this, because of that, I've been extremely busy doing something. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, let's get back into it. So it looks like this guy's going for the sub, and I know my farms are terrible, so we're just going to go ahead and go for the Abramon upgrade, because I know the Abramon can easily decamo in these balloons as well, which is definitely pretty dope. There we go with the solution. Easy. Um, and I'm not too sure if this guy will send me out like a rush. If he doesn't, that's okay for me. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the Abramon once again, and then the go for the defreeze. Perfect. And it looks like this guy's got the sub up to submerge. Well done, sir. Oh, he's got two submerge. Oh, yeah, for the camels. Because apparently there's camels going to go up here. And the camel, when I send here, it's going to decamo it towards the side here. So that is definitely a clever move here that he's doing. But, yeah, well played, sir. Well played. Uh, but, anyway, let's go ahead and go for another heli pilot. Uh, I definitely need to place another heli if I can place it down very, very correctly. So there we go with another heli, of course. Perfect. Um, and also, I'm going to send a little bit of sets of group greens. We have 1,000 eco. So, I think this might be the perfect time just to go ahead and send a little bit of sets of eco. I think we'll stop probably like at uh, 1,200 eco. And I'm not too sure if, if I'll try to stop like at 2,000 eco or more. So, we're going to see if this is possible or not. Because I know the fact we could probably just go ahead and try to go ahead and go for the better better defense here. So, once I stop like at 1,200 eco, then I'm going to just do a farming though. Because I know I'm going to try to do a banana farm action. Because I know we have the worst farms in the game. So, I'm going imagine to stop like uh, 1,200 eco. So, there we go. There's the calculation, bro. Nice, nice, nice. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and go for the for the marketplace. And then, once again, we're going to go for another marketplace. Because another marketplace might help out with this. So, that is definitely pretty good to know here. Oh, he's going for the eyes. Oh, okay. So, he's going for bomb, sub, and eyes. What is that loadout he's using? Hmm. I never see people go um, bomb, sub, and eye strategy in this map, but I guess that could work though. But if you have village though, if you do have village, you can easily defend it though with the infinite fortified ZMGs with the bomb, with the homeland, and then go for the super barrel. You can easily defend it the, the shred it all out though. And yeah, it's definitely quite OP. You could try using uh, bomb, village, and eye strategy. It's definitely much worth it though, since you need to um, since you need to try out some good old strategies in this game. So. That is very, very clever to know against this guy, but yeah. Alright, anyway, let's go for another farm up to the central market. Perfect. And then also, we gotta watch out for the Moabs. Don't forget, because I know he might send me with some Moabs sooner. I don't think he will, but I think we got this in the back here. So, hopefully, that's okay. Uh, right now, we're gonna go ahead and go for another marketplace. We need to go for another marketplace, and then once we get that, we're gonna go for another farm. Once we get that, we're gonna go ahead and go for the Monkey Wall Street sooner, though. So once we get that, we're going to be Gucci with it. And then right after that, I'm not too sure if we could easily farm harder though. Because right now, we got this up to uh, to the Abrilment just to be safe if there's any rushes that are going to come through or something. I am not too sure, but we got to be really careful not to um, not to die here to a stupid rush like this. But yeah. Uh, but anyway, so we got this up to... Uh, I might go for another one as well. I'm not sure if I'll go for the Razor Rush or something. But if you say me like a rush, I'll just go for the Maw Shop. Oh, yep. He's rushing me, of course. Okay. Let's just go for the Maw Shop right now. I think the Maw Shop could easily help out by pushing the Maws back. So there we go with the Maw Shop. Perfection. Let's go for another Heli Pilot. And I think we're going to be good with it, though. And after this, I might sell my Maw Shop just to go ahead and go for the... For another central market. Because I think that might be the better plan. Just to get used to it. So hopefully that's okay. 
Uh, but it looks like the moss is not popping for some reason. Oh, yeah, because the moss shark keeps pushing back forwards or something. Like, what the heck, bro? Okay, let's go ahead and go for another upgrade. I wanted to see if the moss could pop, though, but it wasn't even popping for some reason. Like, what in the actual odds, man? Okay, let's just, like, move the helis back. And I might pull out another heli just in case we can easily pop it quickly. Come on, pop the moa, please. Alright, we actually pop it, though. Oh, no, we didn't pop it. I thought we popped it. No way we didn't pop the Moab. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but still, we did not pop the mobs in the, in the right time here. Like, I cannot literally tell when the mobs gonna pop. Oh, now it does pop. Okay. Finally. Dude, it takes, like, a lot of time just to, um... Just to pop the mob, which is definitely suspicious here. But we actually managed to pop the mob, though, which is definitely pretty good, though. So I'm happy with that. Um, also, I need to go ahead and go for the Monkey Wall Street, so I'm not too sure if this guy will send me w with some rushes, of course. So right now, let's go ahead and go for another ice. And then after that, I think I'm going to sell my mob shove. Go for, uh, for the Monkey Wall Street. So let's go ahead and go for the Monkey Wall Street immediately. So there we go with the Monkey Wall Street, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and go for the Abro Man. So let's go ahead and go for another Abro Man for the Decamo. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and go for the factory. And then once again, though, we're going to go ahead and go for the central market. Because I think the central market with two central markets could possibly make sure that we could go for the banana central fast enough, though. Which is definitely a smart move that we're going to be doing, though. So that way, we definitely need to make sure that we need to get everything off the back here. So yeah, hopefully we can go ahead and I know my opponent and I, we're going to be going late game though. And this strategy might be not as good. I mean, it might be pretty good still. I'm not sure if I'm right though, but we're going to give it a try and see because I know this is our first time using Heli Farm and Ice in one of the long maps I want to try it out. So that's why I prefer using the strategy, even though the strategy might be not as good. But we can make this move here because I know we could probably just go ahead and go for another ice because I definitely need to go for another ice tower. So that way the Abroman could easily decamel the DDT's camels uh, detection here, which is definitely pretty good here. So we definitely need to make sure that we have to get used to it though. But anyway, it is almost round 26. So we got to watch out for DDTs because apparently DDTs will come in out very, very soon. So I might able to go ahead and go for the Icicle Impel because Icicle Impel could easily stall those DDTs very, very easily though. Uh, the 205 Icicle Impel stall, you can easily stall it very quickly. Uh, apparently, if you upgrade to the middle path with the Icicle Impel, the Impel doesn't attack DDTs though. You need to upgrade it only to the top path. Only for the 205 top path, because that way you definitely need to make sure that the Icicle Impel can easily pop those DDTs very, very easily. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, it is round 26, so if you send me, like, a DDT, then I gotta be really careful with it, because because I know DDTs might be deadly. So, we gotta watch out for that as well. Alright, there we go with that. Go for another factory right now. If you send me, like, a DDT or something, then I might have to go ahead and go for the Icicle Impel. Uh, but we got that up to the Banana Central, so there we go with the Banana Central. Easy peasy. Um, right now, we're going to go ahead and go for another farm. And also, one thing, I definitely need to get a lot of defense for everything else. Even though with the Icicle Impel defense I need to get, I still need to get so much defense for the better Xanity here. So, right now, I think this might be the perfect time just to go ahead, go for the Apache Dark Ship for the start. So, there we go with the Apache Dark Ship. Perfect. And I might be able to go ahead and go for another Apache Dark Ship. If I definitely need another defense for DDTs or something, then I might be able to go ahead and go for the Apache Dark Ship. So there we go with another Apache Dark Ship, of course, though. Nice, nice, nice. Um, also, let's go ahead and go for another factory right now. And this will be another factory, guys. So I am not too sure if this guy and I were going to go Epic Laking. But it looks like on his side, though, he's going for the bomb. He's got bomb mob motor. He's got the Icicle Impel in the back, though. He's got every sort of amount of defense in this side though so that is definitely pretty good to know against him so for now on i think this might be the perfect time just to spam so many apache dart ships and also by the way i need to go for a couple more apache dart ships so let's go ahead and go for another apache dart ship as we can though and i might have to go for the apache prime so once we get the apache prime up we're gonna be good with it though um so right now let's go ahead and go for another apache and i think this might be the perfect time just to go ahead and go for the for the bomb path upgrade, so that way the balloons could possibly blow it back. Or maybe the, the mods will push it back, though. So, I am actually going to be going for another farm. I don't know if I should fit more farms right above the top left side. I'm not sure. But, we're going to see if I can still fit there. If I can't fit there, then big rip against this heli or farm strat or whatever the case may be. 
Uh, but right now, we're going to go ahead and go for the Apache Prime. This will be the Apache Prime, by the way. So, there we go with the Apache Prime. And also, I'm going to go for another heli. I don't know if I should place down another heli here. I think I should place it down, like, up here or something. I'm pretty sure. So, there we go with that. And also, I am going to be going for the bigger jets. Because I think the bigger jets with the upgrade might be way better, though, than the, than the top path. I don't know which cross path should you go for the Comanche Commander. Because I'd rather upgrade to the middle path and the bottom path upgrade for the... For the better star here. Um, so there we go with that. And I am not too sure if this might be the better way just to go for the defense. So right now, I definitely need to go ahead and go for a couple more stuffs here. I need to go for a couple more Apaches or something else. Because I know this guy has a lot of bomb defense. He's got every sort of amount of bomb defense in the back here. So right now, I definitely need to go ahead and go for another one. Alright, so there we go with the Icicle Impel. So hopefully that's okay for me. Oh yeah, I should fit down the Icicle Impel like on top here. So that way where there's a mod coming in or whatever, then if there's, if there's a, like a DDT coming to the end, I need to go for the Icicle Impel. So I think this might be the perfect time just to go for the Icicle Impel. So there we go with the Icicle Impel. Easy. And then after that, we're going to go for the Super Brittle. So there we go with the Super Brittle, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and go for the special, uh, not special operation, uh, support trainers, I meant to say. So, we're going to go for the support trainers, so that way we need to make sure we can generate our lives all the way to the max. Once we get that, we're going to go ahead and sell and rebuy the heli to go for the Apache. So, once we get the generated lives, then we're going to make sure if this guy will send me with some all-out rushes, because I don't think he will. But... We're going to make this clear, though. Oh, nice. 150 lives, which is absolutely calculated. I did not realize that it was a calculation. So, nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Um, Right now, let's go ahead and go for another one. Let's go for another Apache Dart ship. And also, I might be able to go ahead and build so much timing here. So, we can go for a couple more Apaches, though. We have so much Apache Dart ships all over the map. So, we definitely need another heli pilot, though. So, let's go ahead and place down another heli. Go for another Apache because we have a lot of defense that we need to work on it. So, I know the fact he has so many bomb defense. He's got every sort of amount of bombs though. And I'm not too sure if this has to be the move here. Because I know we do have a lot of heli pilot defense. So, we got to go ahead and go for another one. And also, I definitely need to go ahead and go for... I got to go for another Abrilman in case if there's a DET going on. So, I might able to go ahead... Go for the Abrilman, of course. Also, I didn't mean to upgrade to the middle path. I was about to upgrade to the to the bomb path. Because I think the bomb path could be way better, though, for the Abrilman. Um, but right now, let's go ahead and go for another one. Get up to the Snowstorm. I think Snowstorm could actually help out by placing down so many spaces here. So, let's just place this dude maybe right about here. I think that might be the better point here, to be honest. But since we got a lot of the Apaches, and also with the Apache Prime. And by the way, we got up to the Comanche Commander. We definitely need a lot of heli defense, so let's go ahead, go for a couple more uh, Comanche defense. We definitely need to go for a Comanche defense or more, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and go for the Apache. So yeah, I don't know how good this is going to be, but we're going to see if this strategy, even though heli farm eyes back in battles one, I'm not too sure if it's definitely pretty good or not, so... We're going to see how possible it is just to go epic leg him against him. And also, the problem is, though, this guy, he needs to start rushing me back to me. Because apparently, he's probably not going to defend his all-out rushes or my rush. I mean, I'm not too sure if this guy will send me, like, an all-out fortify ZMGs. Because if he does, then we have to be really careful not to, um, not to choke this. Because I know we do have a lot of money. We have a lot of, we have a lot of the Apaches all over the map. We got a lot of stuff here. And hopefully by the time we, if we can get so much money, we need so much defense for the heli as well. So let's go ahead and go for a couple more Apache Dart ships. And there's a lot of the Apache Dart ships all over the map. So this is definitely a very, very great idea. So that way we definitely need a lot of the Apache Dart ship spam. So let's go ahead and put on Fallen Mouse. And let's see if my opponent will rush me though, because I don't think he will. But if he does, then he might. So we got to be really careful if he decides to rush me with some all out. Because the problem is though, from his side... Yeah, he needs to counter me with some Fortify or something. Because if he doesn't rush me with some Fortify Bats or something, then I don't think he might not win the game. Because round 40 comes to an end here. Because when round 40 ends here, then it goes to Sun and Death. And I won the game, though. So I have to go ahead and start rushing him very, very soon, though. We have a lot of the Apaches right about now. We got so much Apaches. So let's go ahead. Keep building so many Apache Dart ships. And then hopefully we can probably just go ahead and keep building a lot of them. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of the Apaches going on. So let's go ahead and 
You'll see we can easily get so much though. And look at look at all these cyber rotors all over the map. Look at that. No way we have so many cyber rotors. Like, holy crap. Oh, he sent me a rush. Let's go. Okay. Let's see if we can easily defend the all-out rushes though. Well, it's definitely one fortified bad, but we're gonna see how good is the all-out uh one regular ZOMGs or something. But I'm not too sure if this is definitely pretty good or not. But yeah, I think I'm gonna tower boost it just to make sure we don't die. I mean, we are about to be dead here soon. Um, oh no, we actually popped it. No way we actually shredded though. No way we shredded though. Wow. Okay. That is very, very clever. I mean, he didn't send me a fortified bat, so I might send another one just to force him to rush me back. Oh, and he comes to fortify. Okay, so he comes to fortify right now. Uh, right now, we're going to sell you, go for another patchy starship. And this will be another one, and I'm not too sure if we can easily pop it very, very easily. So let's see if we can easily pop it with the Apache Dark ships. And oh my god, we could probably just easily pop it though. Um, I don't know if we're gonna pop it or not, but I think we are going to pop it. I think. Uh, but oh my god, it looks like he's defending on my side. No way he's defending. No shot, man. Oh, he sent me another one. Oh, he sent me with DDTs. Oh god, I think I'm dead here. Oh my god, I think I'm dead. Oh, no way. Boost? Oh my god, we actually defended. Are you serious right now? No way. Dude, there's no way. Oh, it's final round. Oh my god, I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Oh my god, there's no way he defended on my side. Yo, GG's, GG's, dude. We actually popped the fortify, but it was too late to pop the fortify at the end here. But good game against this guy. I guess I'll take that as a loss here, but I don't know how good is the is the heli farm ice strategy. But let me know in the comments down below though, because that strategy might be pretty good though. I mean, it popped the first regular bats, but the fortify it popped it way too late. So I think that might be the main issue here. If you need to tower boost it a little bit a bit too early though, I think I need to sell the super brittle. And then go for another super barrel on the top side. So I should have done that. So yeah. But anyway, that is all for you guys for today's video. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video of this new Battles 1 strategy that I actually tried out. Um, if you guys want to see more Battles 1 strategy like this, make sure you subscribe. And also, smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. And hopefully we can probably just get some great content. And also, we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. So make sure you sub if you have not already, alright? But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, everybody.